gotta give you a solution. But right now, today, that time is up. There's no more I'm giving you lies. We're not African. We're not black. We're not Jamaican. We're not from the 12th time. To give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. But have we seen any change? Yeah. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? So this day was set before you. This day was supposed to happen so that you can understand who you are and what you must do. Keep reading. Life and death. So that, like I said, this is a matter of life and death. Your Christian church ain't gonna teach you that. What? Your, 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 your mama ain't gonna teach you this. You supposed to, if your mama would've teach you this, you would've been already knew this. This is serious. Putting on your fringes, uh, take, putting that black away, that's a serious thing. Keeping the Sabbath, that's serious. It's judgment for that, brother. That's why we out here, to warn our people. To show them the right way to live. Read, life and death. Blessing and cursing. Uh -huh. Therefore, so therefore, Isaac, you got a choice. From once you walk off this corner or this block and you go back to your house, you got a choice. You can either choose life or death. Who do you want to choose, Isaac? You want to choose life, right? The Bible got the answer right you. Uh, answer right here. Read. Choose life. Say what? Choose life. The Bible is our cheap book to, to, to get to the kingdom of heaven. The Bible got the answers to get to life. Give me uh, give me Matthew 19 and 16. Oh no, before that, give me Joshua 24 and 15. The Bible got the answers. Your Christian, your Christian pastor ain't got the answers. You ain't gonna get this knowledge anywhere else. Uh, 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 Donald Trump ain't gonna show you how to get to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Read Joshua uh, 24 and 15. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. So if you think to, uh, to not choose the commandments of God, if that may be evil for you, read. Choose you this day. Choose today, Isaac, right now. This Sabbath day. Read. Whom you will serve. So you said you choose life, right? So you know what you must do once you leave. We told, we told you about the, the fringes, right? So what's the next thing you should do once you go home? Let's try to search up some fringes to put it on your shirt, right? Is that something you, you, you're willing to do? Yep. You're willing to do all praises, brother. All praises. Keep reading it. Whether the gods which your fathers served mm -hmm. that were on the other side of the flood. Uh, give me Matthews in 19 and 16 because it's important. All praises that you, you, you said that's something that you're choosing to do. Remember, this is recorded. You said these words in the presence of God. Right. Read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came unto him and said, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may enter into life? So why are we out here teaching that you blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians are the Israelites? Yes, and you must keep the commandments of God. That's the only way you'll make it into the kingdom. Your pastors ain't telling you, telling you this. Your teachers, your college professors ain't teaching you this. It's important you choose life or you will die here in America. Read verse 17. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. So how do we enter into kingdom, how do we enter into the kingdom of uh, heaven? How do we inherit eternal life? But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. No, celebrate Christmas on December 25th. Keep the commandment. No, celebrate uh, New Year's on January 1st. Keep the commandment. It's important, Isaac. Pay attention. Don't worry about over there. You, you, you got an opportunity right here to make it in the kingdom of heaven. Don't worry about what's going on. All right? You got to understand that this Bible is your history, and this is your 
Bible. This is your photo album. This is this has your ancestors in it. What book on earth can show you anything past uh, the times of slavery? Right. What book shows you about our history? Bring it out. What book do you can you go to and be like, oh, where I come from? What was my people doing about four thousand years ago? How, how how will I be able to uh, to know what I was doing? Cause you gotta realize, the, the America, the, the system that we in, they don't want to, they don't want you to know this. That's why we out here. That's why God sent the prophets out to teach you, brother. Right. Give me uh, Exodus uh, 20 and 8. Cause we we need to understand today is a serious day. Actually, give me Genesis 2 and 7. Today is a serious day. It's not a day to take lightly. It's not a day to to do what you want to do, to hit up the club. Ain't in a day for that. Most of our people out here in the clubs right now, as soon as we get paid on Friday, we hit to the club. But what does God command us to do today? Read Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God for oh, man. Two and one. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, mm -hmm. and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, uh -huh. God ended all his work. So this is the history of the Sabbath day, which is today. Right. This is when it started. This is the first day it was celebrated. The Most High God, your creator, celebrated this day. Are you better than your creator? So if he's doing it, what must you do? Give me answer to 20 and 8. What must you do? Bring it up. You must do the same thing, right? Because he's the God in heaven. He lives forever, right? Right. So if you're doing, if you're keeping the Sabbath, isn't that a way for internal life? Because God does it. It's a lifestyle of the Most High. The Most High rests on the seventh day. That's a lifestyle. So you, when you start, uh, when you start putting in that, that work of keeping the Sabbath, uh, doing, uh, having, uh, implementing that lifestyle, that is how you will inter inherit eternal life. Read Yo. Exodus chapter twenty, verse eight. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. Read to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do no work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in the sixth day the Lord created the heavens and the earth and all that is in them so and rested on the seventh day. And he rested on the seventh day. Give me Nehemiah 10 and uh, 10 and 31. Yo, what y'all niggas praising God? We are Israelites according to the Bible. Well, we are here to teach our people. Can I ask you a question? What does Israel mean? I'm asking about God, you talking about Israel. Uh, like, help me out, what is Israel? The about word? You talking about God. Yeah, the word, go to uh, Genesis 32, 28. I'll show you. I'm asking about God, you talking about Israel. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, God, God, when it, when it came to Jacob, he changed his name to Israel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me show you. Here we go. Genesis 32, 28. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, thy name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince hast thou power with God. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. We guys, we are, are blacks, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are the Israelites according to the Bible. He changed our name to Israel, which means Prince of God. God did. God did. He changed our name. That, and cause we are his chosen people. Right. But far too long we've been calling ourselves blacks and Hispanics and right. native Indians. Nigga, right. even black, nigga. We trying to raise our people up out of a lower state. Right. And teach them that they are the Israelites so we can repent and get Ooh. up out of the decayed right. state. That's you right. say that again, brother? You all of us. We all over the world, man. We all That's over right. the world teaching our people. Right. Trying to right. raise us up out of the decayed state so we can become greater than what we are right now. Right. We try to teach our people. What? Read that. What? Teach you. Give me uh, Proverbs 7 and 2. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Proverbs 7 and 2. I'm going to show you, brother. Just listen. Proverbs chapter 7 and 2. We are here teaching that the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And it's high time we wake up out of sleep. Read that. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. So we are here teaching the commandments of God so our people can live. Right. This is what's going to bring us back to life. Well, we ain't got hatred. Give me that Leviticus 19.17. Bring it up. Oh, bring it up. 
Living, Leviticus 1917. I'm going to show you, brother. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We out here because we love our people. And we out here to change our people. That's why we out here to do this. To teach them the commandments so we can wake up. We can love one another. Come up out the hood that we in. Read that. And not suffer sin upon him. That's, that's why that's why we give me first John chapter 3 verse 4 because we can't suffer sin upon our people So we out here to teach our people the commandments. I'm gonna show you what's sin. I'm gonna show you First John chapter 3 verse 4 Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law so when you break God's commandments you are in the midst of sin right. So that's why we out here Isaac, to teach our people that we got to keep God's commandments so we can come back to life as a people, as a nation out here. Read that. For sin is the transgression of the law. God says when we break God's commandments, we end the midst of sin. Give me that Proverbs uh, 21, 16. Proverbs 21, 16. Because when we break God's commandments, we in the midst of sin. Right. And that's what we in this uh, condition that we are as a people right now. Read that. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16 uh -huh. the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding Shall remain in the congregation of the dead So when we wander out of the way of understanding which is God's command give me the Psalms 111 and 10 We wander out of the ways of God's commandments. We remain in the congregation of the dead Read that Psalms chapter 111 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandments so when we keep God's commandments that's how we get an understanding of the Bible the fear of the Lord precept upon precept what's that what color is God he black just like us his son black too just like us you ever met God Say that again. Give me that John 14. When I see you, brother, I see God. When I see my brothers out here, I see God. We are, we are gods on the earth. That's how I know he blocked. Read that. You're an Israelite, brother. You God's chosen people. You are God on the earth. Read that. John chapter 14, verse 9. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet, hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me, hath seen the Father. So it says, when you see us, you see each other, you see the Father. Right. Give me that John, uh, Genesis 1, 26. Why do yeah. we see, why are we able to see one another? He said, you see me, you seen the Father. This is the reason why. Genesis 1, 26. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. God said, let us make man in our image. Now give me uh, Genesis 2 and 7. He said, let us make God in our image. Read that. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God, for man of the dust, of the ground. What color is the dust, Isaac? It's brown. Well, we look at it right now. We say it's black because that's what they told us, but it's brown. And the deeper you go, the darker it get. That's how we know when God said in the beginning, let us make man in our image, the first man he made was Adam. A black man, according to the Bible, from the dust of the ground. That's why your body got all kind of minerals and things in it. Right. Zinc and iron, that stuff's of the earth. Because you come from the earth. Right. And that's when the brother said, show me what color God is, who's God? That's us. When I see each other, I know that. We brothers. We God, we gods, man. Give me that Psalms 82. Listen to it. Read that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Ask okay. a question. Number one. Yeah. The white man has all of us confused. He got a lot of us confused, not all of us. Something? Go ahead. Brother. Yeah. I hate to break your heart. There's no God. Huh? See the sun that wakes up every morning? Yeah. Comes up in the, that's the only thing on time in Give life. me that in uh, Isaiah 46. Listen to me. I'm listening to you, brother. Go I ahead, but I got to read the Bible. Nigga. I got my knowledge from the streets, nigga. Uh-huh. I'm trying to let you know that Bible that y'all believing in, all that is the shit, that's the white man polluting y'all mind. Y'all niggas stupid. Read that Isaiah 46 and 9. Man, Isaiah chapter 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and, and there is none. 
read verse 10. Verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. God said, I declared the end from the beginning. One thing that God declared is that we will be over here on the land that's not ours. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28, 68. Give me that. Go ahead, brother. You got another question? Go ahead. Where do you guys learn this shit at? I want to ask you. Say that again. When did you learn this shit at? Give me that in Acts chapter 2. Oh my God. You're fucking bringing knowledge. You're reading. I'm not reading the white man's words. You're reading the white man's words, brother. God's black. It ain't no white man. How do you know he's black? Have you met him, black brother? Read that. Acts chapter 2. Have you met him, brother? No, you asked 3. Brother. Y'all stop. No, this Acts is 2 the and 17. No, no Acts chapter 2, no, verse 17. And I shall come to pass in the last days. It says in the last days it's going to come to pass. Read that. Say of God, I will pour out my spirit. God said he's going to pull out his spirit in the last days. Read on. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So that's what's happening. That's why you ask who taught us this. God poured his spirit out on us. And that's why we out here prophesying to our people. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Why the fuck I'm still going through what I'm going through? Give me that in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. Keep reading the Bible to me, nigga. That's I'm going to show you why we keep going through what we're going through as a people, as a nation. God? You met God? Let me show you. Have you met God? Yeah, in the spirit, brother, I have. In the spirit, yeah. Fuck to you. Give me that Second Chronicles seven fourteen. What church do you go to, bro? Second, Second Chronicles. Chapter, I gotta ask you a first question, brother. Here we go. Hurry up, nigga. Second, damn it. Second Chronicles right. chapter seven verse fourteen. Fuck holy Hold on, brother. Let me get the scripture. You right. You are. It's in the Bible that you are God. Give me that. Second Chronicles chapter seven. Verse 14, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked way. That's why we still in this same condition, because we ain't humbled ourselves as a people to God. That's why we doing this. That's why we out here, because we, we still in the same conditions after 400 years of coming over here on slave ships. Where the slave ships sign at? Have you ever ruled on a slave Hold ship? That. Hold that. Have you ever on my side? ancestors did. My Ooh. ancestors came Ooh. here in slavery. Hold it up. I can't see. My ancestors came here in slavery on slave ships from the Show west coast of Africa. Right and we ain't humbled now. ourselves in the last 400 years. That's why we keep going through the same thing with police right, brutality. Right, bro. Police are shooting us down the bro, street bro. like Trayvon Martin. Bro. You put it down. He's you put it down. Nigga, like bro. Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown. We're going Trayvon. through the suppression because we ain't humbled ourselves as a people. Bro, Read that. Nigga, then, will I hear from heaven? When we humble ourselves as a people, God says, then I'm going to hear their prayers from heaven. Until then, we'll keep going through the same thing. Give me that in uh, Jeremiah chapter 6. Verse 19. Give me that Jeremiah 6 and 19. Je Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 19. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people. And that's what's happening. We, but evil has been brought upon us because we ain't yet humbled ourselves. We ain't learned to love each other. We out here hating one another. Hating each other, living in malice, but we ain't humbled ourselves, and therefore God has brought evil upon us. And the, and when we don't walk in God's laws, the devil walks to and fro, and he jumps on our own people that hate us for reading the Bible. That we telling the brother God's black. Give me Psalms 82. Give me Psalms 82. We're gonna show you that you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are gods on the earth. But right now we living in a decayed state. We on the bottom. We're trying to get our people up out of that. Read that. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said. Psalms 82 and 6. There we go. Yeah, 83. I'm 82. Psalms 82, verse 6. I have said. Ye are God. God says it in the Bible. The brother's right. We are gods. We are gods. We are the power on this earth. Whatever we do, the other people follow it. But when we in wickedness, the other people follow that too. Read that. Read it again from the top. I have said, ye are gods. God said that we are gods. 
We are gods on the earth. The black, Hispanic, and native Indian men are gods on earth. That's Read. Right. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. All 12 tribes from the top to the bottom, from Judah all the way down to Naphtali, the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, we are the children of the Most High. Read. But ye shall die like men. But we're going to die just like regular men. What kills us, Isaac? What kills us in the hood other than our own people? Yep. Us. We kill it, but it's, give me that Romans 6 and 23. We'll show you what kills us. Bring it Been killing us for 400 years and it ain't changed. Right. Read that. Romans 6, 23. That's fine. There you go. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Is what? Is death. So when we in the midst of sin, we get put to death. Go right. back. Go back. Psalms 82, 6 again. I have said, ye are God. Gods don't die. Gods are eternal. They live forever. They got all power. Read. I have said, ye are gods. Uh -huh. And all of you are children of the Most High. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the children of God. That's right. Read on. But ye shall die like men. But we die like men because we in the midst of sin. Right. We hate one another. We don't keep the commandments. We don't dress how God told us to dress. We don't keep the Sabbath day holy like right. God told us to do. So therefore, he puts us to death. Right. That's why we die like men. Go to verse 5 now. 82 and 5, call it. Psalms 82 verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. We don't know who we are, and neither do we understand, nor do we want to understand when we crying aloud on the street corners. We don't want to understand. We don't know. Read on. They walk on in darkness. Uh -huh. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Look at that. God says we walk on in darkness. We don't know which way to go. It ain't just talk because the sun goes down. It's that we searching for answers that don't know which way to turn. We walk on in darkness and the what? And the found. And, the, and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. So God says the whole world's out of order because we gods are out of order. Right. Treating each other like that, we out of order. Right. Not, not marrying the women that we sleep with, out of order. Producing single parent homes, out of order. Not keeping the commandments of the Sabbath day holy, out of order. Right. Not living peaceably among each other, out of order. Right. Gossiping about each other, out of order. The whole world is out of order because we out of order. Give me that in uh, Psalms 50, and I think it's at the bottom, Psalms 51. You right, we was in the hood, Isaac, you told us that, didn't you? You said we're in the bottom of the bottom. Psalms 51 and uh, where yeah. Right Psalms chapter 50, 21. Psalms chapter 50, verse 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. That's what God is doing with us. He's setting us in order. Guys are in order. We have to be in order as a people. That's right. We got to learn when somebody else is talking, you be quiet. That's right. why when the brother said, let me talk. Okay, go ahead, brother, talk. Two people can't talk if we both argue. Right. So right here, you see order. Brother's got something to say, although he was cussing us out. Go ahead, speak, brother. Okay, you speak. Now I got to bring out the scripture. That's called order. Right. We don't have that as a people when we live as blacks, Hispanic, and native Indians as regular men. But when you know you're Israelite, God said, I'm going to set you in order. You're going to know how to have a conversation with your own people that is irate. Right. That want to kill you. Right. They got something in the car just waiting on you to say something crazy. Right. You're going to know the order of how to deal with them people. Right. And you just saw it firsthand right here, Isaac. That's right. So that's why we compelling our people to come in. Come in so you can learn order in your life. Right. You can learn your uh, your God-given purpose and you can live as the God that we will be once again. Right. 
Yeah, that's what we said. The angels is around us. We ain't worried about that stuff. We 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 see that stuff. We and, and that ain't the first time that it's happened. Give me that in uh first John. First John. Because we talking about God. The brother brought out being God. Talking about God. You're right, we gods. Give me that in first John chapter 3, read verse 1 and 2. First John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. You know how much the Most High loves us? Is that we still here as a people. Right. After going through what they done did to us for the last 400 years, of what we do to each other for the last 400 years, we still here as a people. That's how much God loved us that he said, I ain't going to do away with you. Although you're a rebellious, hateful people that hate each other, I'm not going to do away with you. That's how much God loved us. Read on. That we should be called the sons of God. We the sons of God and our name is Israel. That's right. It means a prince of God. That's right. <laughs> Read on. Therefore, the world knoweth us not. They don't know who we are. Therefore, we treat each other like that. Right. We don't know that we the sons of God, so we talk to each other like we niggas. Right. We talk to each other like we ain't nothing. Right. Read on. Because it know him not. Beloved. Now are we the sons of God, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. It don't yet appear what we shall be. Yeah, we gods, but we ain't in our God state right now. We dying just like regular men. But when we get our life in order and we repent and start keeping the commandments of God, he said, it ain't even appear what you shall be. And, and right now, just on the, on the earthly level, who's the best in everything that they do? Who is that, Isaac? No, no. What people on the earth, whenever they get hold of something, they become the best at it. That's us. Yeah. Yeah, that's us. When we get, hell, we don't even play golf, but Tiger Woods got into that thing and took off. Right. We don't play tennis. Venus and Serena Williams are the best tennis players to ever live. That's right. Who? Hockey. hockey. We got black people in hockey. Football, basketball, baseball, hell. Even when we put our mind to do good, we're the best at that. Right. The first open heart surgery, black man. So, uh, order right here of how to stop and go, black man created the stoplight. Right. The refrigerators to keep your food cold, black man created that. Right. Cell phone that you talk on, laptops, black man created that. Right. A computer, black man created that. All train tracks. Black man uh, created that. The, the brake system on a train track. The real McCoy. He was a black man. We created that stuff. When we put our mind to good use, we are great. But when we put our mind to evil, we are the evilest. We can go either way. We could be the best. We could be gods. Or we could be the devil. There ain't no in between But with us. We ain't lukewarm. We either righteous or we evil. But if we evil, you got something waiting on you death but if we righteous we got eternal life on us that's right i guarantee you i know where they going yeah yeah, that's bad, that's bad. yeah. yep right behind him you know what this called judgment, judgment. That's right. That's right. i pray the brother repents i pray that he hear these words and he think about them and he understand that he was treating the prophets of god with harm the bible says do my prophets no harm because we got angels that's here recording this thing that's defending us. And when you come out against his prophets, and if it ain't their time to go, you got judgment waiting on you. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org